race for the 6th Congressional District was expected to be a rematch, this time with Richard Tissé having the upper hand. After just barely losing to Democratic Congressman John Tierney in 2012, the Republican looked poised to overtake the incumbent, who would be running without the benefit of Barack Obama topping the ticket. But that all changed when political newcomer Seth Moulton beat Tierney in a primary election. Now, instead of facing an entrenched and controversial incumbent, to say is squaring off against a fresh-faced Iraq war veteran, and polls suggest the race is a dead heat. And Richard to say is here. Welcome to Greater Boston. Thank you for having me. And we should say that we had intended to have a half-hour debate tonight between you and Seth Moulton. Seth Moulton canceled at the last minute to have a Democratic fundraiser with uh, Deborah Mosserman Schultz, which we were not too happy about. But which is unfortunate. Pleased it was all to have prepped you anyway. in. All prepped yes, in ready we were to too. Uh, <laughs> so were, were you surprised by this outcome? Did you just kind of assume that you were going to be running against John Tierney, or did well, you? you can't control what's going to happen. But you know, the primary ended up being a referendum on John Tierney, just as the last election was, and I think people were ready for change. And now we're at a point where we're going to elect a new congressman for the sixth district, and. Um, People are going to look at both candidates and look and see who can really bring them best, most to the office and who can deliver for the people. And I have a record of doing that as a former legislator. And, um, and I think it's important to have somebody in Washington who can hit the ground running and who can do more for the state as a member of the majority party. And that's really what I'm talking to people about. And I'm getting a great response in the district. So Seth Moulton, uh you, you, you've you kind of positioned yourself as a, as a change agent, but Seth Moulton has done the same thing. I mean, he's fresh face. He's, as he said, Iraq war veteran, done four tours there. I mean, how, how do you sort of counter that? Well, I think what people are looking for is somebody who isn't just a fresh face, you know, who can also go down and heap help change the direction of the country. And whoever you talk to, most people would say the country's headed in the wrong direction because the policies that we've seen come out of Washington, particularly over the last six years, you know, $17 trillion in debt, an economy that doesn't produce jobs anymore, and the fact that nobody can get along and get anything done um, is, you know, we're sort of at a standstill. And I can go to people and say, look, I've worked on education reform, welfare reform, pension reform, health care reform here on the state level. And in Washington, as a member of the majority, I can take Massachusetts's concerns off the back burner and put them front and center. And I'll be able to do a lot to help the delegation, you know, push a Massachusetts um, agenda. And the other thing I would just say is that, you know, um, in addition to the time I've spent in the in government, um, I've also been in the private sector 20 years. I've mm -hmm. owned my own company for the last 14 years. And I, I always tell people my best qualification for office is all the nights I've sat lying in bed <laughs> staring at the ceiling saying, how, how am I going to make the payroll, keep the doors <laughs> open? So I understand the anxiety that people have. And, you know, I think um, I could be a real change agent. Um, down in Washington and also help change the Republican mm -hmm. Party a bit and, and move it in a different direction. Last night we were doing a segment about gender identity politics in the state with three openly gay people running for office and we had Carl Chartino on who had run two years ago yep. and lost in the primary to uh, Kathy Clark but he brought up something about you and I, I want to listen to this. When I think about that race, you know, Richard is a mm. good guy, and I'm, I'm glad he's running as an openly gay candidate. He came out several years ago when he ran statewide for the first time, um, and that's wonderful. But when he goes to Congress, he's going to vote for yeah. Speaker John Boehner, who mm. has passionately, viciously worked against our community's rights, and that's hard to get around mm -hmm. for to say. No, he's not the first person to bring that up. Well, and he's what? not just talking about the issues affecting the gay community, but he, people are saying, you got to vote for John Boehner because well, you're a Republican. First of all, the choices are Nancy Pelosi and John Boehner. And <laughs> the vote, you know, I'm not going to vote for Nancy Pelosi. And, the, you know, it's what happens after the vote, I think, yeah. that's really important. And I've shown in the legislature that I'm independent-minded. I looked Mitt Romney right in the eye on marriage equality and said no. You know, I voted with him 50% of the time, against him 50% of the time. So I'll be independent. But I, th I would just disagree with Carl. I think it would be really good to have two parties, not just one, um, that are in favor of equality and treating every American you know, uh, equally and fairly under the law. And you're never going to have true equality in this country until that happens. So I think I can be a change agent in Washington and talk about issues from a Republican perspective. You know, we were always the party that was trying to expand civil rights um, throughout the history of this country. And we should go back to that um, 
we don't have to reinvent ourselves. We should go back to what we've always been about. So I think I can be, uh, again, change agent for the country and also move mm -hmm. the party in the right direction. The Supreme Court has just recently made some very significant rulings in terms of uh, same-sex marriage and gay rights and that. But there are still groups like the National Organization for Marriage and the Family Research Council that point to you, for instance, yes. and say, what a terrible role model he is for families, for parents. How do you respond to that in this day and age? You know what, I'm, I'm, uh, I am who I am. I'm comfortable in my own skin. And, and I would say that the people here uh, in Massachusetts uh, have always had a live and let live attitude. Uh, it isn't an issue here. Maybe it is in Alabama, but mm -hmm. people judge me um, on my record and the, you know, my character. And, um, and that's, it hasn't been an issue at all uh, during the election. Outside groups will come in and out, um, but there's nothing I can do about it. People know me and they know what I'm capable of mm -hmm. being able to do to represent people. Polls have been up and down. One actually shows Moulton up by 10, but there are a couple that have you yeah. neck and neck. Yeah, that was the Democratic be, yeah, Congressional Yeah, I know, I saw that. So I know, don't believe I know. That. So, uh, it is going to be, it's going to be a competitive race. You think it's going to be a good turnout in this? It's going to be a competitive race. Um, the advantage I have is I live on Main Street, I work on Main Street, I've worked in this district for 26 years mm -hmm. representing people. I've owned a business uh, for a long time. People know me, they know who I am. And they know what I'm all about. And I think at the end of the day, that's what's going to end up carrying me through. You know, Seth didn't even vote in this district two years ago. He was in Texas. So, you know, um, I think that there are comparisons mm -hmm. between us. And he has a great record um, on, you know, as far as service to the country. But that, you know, electing a, a congressman is people, I think, look for different things. And I think I have a good, uh, a good resume and a, a good amount of experience to be able to offer people. All right, Richard, say, and I say we should, we we're going to try to reschedule the yes, debate between you and Seth Bolton. Hope that happens. Thanks Thank for you. joining us.